Good morning, everyone. International and international news this morning. A plane load of former cruise ship passengers have finally arrived in Canada after weeks of quarantine in Japan. Their arrival comes on the same day, incidentally, as hundreds of Canadians are set to be released from isolation. Morgan Campbell is on the ground at CFB Trenton in Ontario, joins us with the latest. Good morning, Morgan. So let, let me ask you, what do we know about the Canadians who are returning from Japan? Any update how many were on board that flight? We don't know exactly how many. We're expecting somewhere in and around 200, Antony. Um, we know that 200 people were approved to board the flight. 47 Canadians did test positive. In total, we know on that cruise ship there were 255 Canadians. So what happens next? What kind of medical protocols uh, are they facing now that they have arrived in Canada? Well, Antony, they went through a screening process. That plane touched down here at Eight Wing around uh, 2 o'clock this morning. We're hearing that one bus may have been uh, already sent off to Cornwall. These guys are going through some uh, medical screening processes here at the base. Then they will board government buses and be taken to the NAV Center in Cornwall, where they will stay for another two weeks in quarantine, bringing that total number to uh, one month, Anthony. Okay, and so and we're hearing as well a number of uh, Canadians are still in Japan uh, facing treatment as a result of the COVID-19. So let's talk about the other group of Canadians who have been spending uh, quite some time at CFP Trenton. What is happening with them? They're actually leaving today. Um, that, that 13, uh, this is actually the 14th quarantine. Global News has learned that uh, buses will be arriving here on base at around noon. They're going to be taken to Toronto Pearson International Airport where they will be flown out to their respective provinces. As you can imagine, Anthony, this has been a long and grueling process for many of those Canadians who have been in quarantine. We know that uh, the government did bring in some additional support systems for them, including mental health support workers. I know after speaking to a number of people on the other side of the chain linked fence, they're excited to go home today. They're excited to see their family members again. Like, keep in mind, they've been quarantined here for two weeks um, and it hasn't been you know, the vacation that they would have wanted, Antony. I mean, they've been confined to a room. They had to stay at least two meters um, apart from one another. So I'm sure these folks are ready to go home. Yeah, I think that's putting it mildly. What a saga. Morgan, thank you so much for that update. Morgan Campbell joining us from CFB Trenton.